Black Friday and Cyber Monday behind us. It's time now to pay it forward, which is the whole idea behind Giving Tuesday. And that's a day to celebrate the reason for the season, which is generosity. We decided to highlight a local mm -hmm. youth organization this year in need of our help. And just as I am Youth Empowerment, also known as Jaya. So this morning we're joined <laughs> by the CEO and founder, Gina Jefferson, and one of the youth leaders, Shelby Ulissi. Good morning to both of you, and thank you so much for being here. Hello, good good morning, morning, good morning. Good to have you here on such an important, <laughs> important morning, right? Yeah. So, Gina, yeah. let me. Yeah, I there love you that go. Spirit. That's the excitement, right? So, Gina, <laughs> let me begin with you, Gina. What is Jaya, for those who don't know, and what kind of programs do you offer? Yes. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for having us here. You know, um, this is a wonderful day to be here. Um, Jaya is a personal development and leadership development program for teens and young adults ages 16 to 21 and we actually support youth all through to 24 and we offer um uh the well the core of our programming is mindfulness education mental health literacy and ethical leadership training and so the core of our program is is uh, the Mindful Leaders Institute, where it's the first stop where youth come for to learn self-awareness and build self-esteem and self-efficacy tools. And they answer the question of why do I matter? Why does my voice mm. matter? Oh, and then wonderful. they go on to our Youth Leadership Council where, that, where they then take what they've learned about themselves and relationships and community and leadership and they go out into the community and do service in ways that build on the skills that they are interested in learning for their careers. Yeah, well, that foundation is so important. Shelby, how did you learn about Jaya, and, and how long have you been involved? Yes, I learned, well, I've been involved with Jaya for five years, and I learned about it when I was 16. Um, Ms. Gina and the youth leaders came to my school, Edward Amaro, at the time to do a workshop, and I was completely interested because they were talking about how to take care of yourself in relationships and how important that is and in a school setting i've never actually heard of that and the yeah. way they were speaking about it was really impactful and from then on i was like gina i need to be here i would love to be here <laughs> if there's any way i can help i'm i'm really here for it and for the five years i've been able to f create workshops for my peers and people oh. that are like me and facilitate them as well yeah. so i thought that was a really That's i'm really awesome. happy to be here yeah. yeah you can tell you are and you know um Gina, Shelby's just one example of so many that you have, have helped along the way. So how many young people have Absolutely. really been involved since you started Jaya? Yes, well, through our workshops, our retreats, and um, conferences that we've put on, Jaya has served over 1,500 youth wow. uh, in the seven years we've been working, yeah, with a volunteer staff um, for the first six years. Yeah, so how, how much do you charge for these programs and where are they offered? Our programs are free to wow, all youth, yes. And they're offered in New York, New Jersey, you know, the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. And we have a special outreach to youth of color, youth from immigrant families, and youth from the LGBTQ community. Yeah. So what do you need on such an important day like today, right? It's Giving Tuesday. Now's your chance. What do you need to keep it going? We need funding. We need 25, we're raising $25,000 today. Um, and for this, this season, that's right. <laughs> and um, we're using that to build a pipeline for youth to grow in this work and so that they can, they can um, start their careers in this work. So we want to hire and train six new youth educators um, so that they can educate and facilitate their peers, go out with us to the schools and to other youth organizations. We want to be able to, we have two schools interested in, in our internships, our Healthy Mind, Healthy Vibes internships, which is outgrowth of what Shelby started. And yeah. we want to be able to offer stipends to youth in need, especially at this time. That's great. Uh, we've run out of time, but just quickly, how can folks invest then? I mean, how can we d make donations to your organization? Yes, you can visit us at JayaYouth.org. We are also um, at Jaya, Jaya Empowerment on most of the uh, social media. And we have an event coming up. So come to our, our, our website and check us out. Awesome. And donate. Right. Well, thanks awesome. so much, Gina and Shelby, for your time <laughs> this morning. You. And Thank folks, you. Thank you. If you. Oh, you're very welcome. If you folks want to, at home, contribute to this wonderful organization, you can find the link on our website, pix11.com.